Hello, my name is Freddie Hayward and I am a Quality Supervisor at Singer Instruments. So the main purpose of my role is to make sure that any robots that go out the door or any new software versions of our products uh, is actually working as we intend. As obviously if a customer's paying £100,000 for a machine, then they're going to want it to work first time. It'd be a bit, bit of a problem if it did not. Uh, so we have a set of series of checks, we call it a QC document, and we'll go through and run through all of those checks on any product which leaves the building. Uh, most of my job is making sure that that happens and making sure that the processes are in place to do everything properly and efficiently. So the main subjects which I studied at school which were relevant to my role was triple science at GCSC, uh, so maths and English, uh, IT, and then just carrying on those skills beyond that point. Uh, after my GCSEs, I went on to do A-level Maths, Physics and Chemistry. Uh, that didn't go exactly according to plan, it was a little bit wayward. Uh, so uh, I decided to do a pivot was on a, uh, about halfway through my A-levels and went into industry. I started an engineering apprenticeship on the Isle of Wight, which I found through liking paleontology, because I did my work experience out there whilst I was in sixth form. Uh, so went out there, did this apprenticeship. Uh, I was at a company making circuit boards as an engineering technician slash pro project coordinator. It was a bit of a hybrid role. Uh, then after that, I started my job here at Singer Instruments as a QC technician. So I was pretty done with education by that point, in all honesty. I was ready to get out of the school system. It wasn't really, really working for me. Mm -hmm. And I like the idea of earning money. You can do quite a lot with money, it turns out. So uh, being able to continue into a, having a career whilst also going and doing something different and just getting out of, getting out of college was a really good situation for me. Uh, I think moving away from home for it as well had a lot of the benefits of, of university for me as well too. Mm -hmm. Because rather than just doing an apprenticeship and staying local, I was still having to be more independent, moving away from family for two years at 17. It was a, it was a bit of a trial by fire. I had to learn how to cook. The main thing that I like about working at Singers is the, probably the combination of the culture and opportunity. Uh, it's not somewhere where I feel my options have been limited by a lack of a degree. Uh, anything which I've brought forward as a, something I'm interested in has been entertained, uh, which that's enabled me to really progress whilst technically coming in as, a, as an entry level position. So I would worry that if I was somewhere else, I may not have had the same development. Uh, and then also on the culture side of things, it's been really nice working somewhere where it's like work hard, play hard. I, I, I enjoy the parties, I enjoy the barbecues. There's, there's just a, there's a lot going on. Pub trips, we go to the pub once a month. Like, it's just a, it's a nice place to work. And in the Southwest, I've got a walk into work down a country lane. I'm not in like some, some big city. It's just a really nice combination of things for me. I think my biggest bit of advice is focus on what you're interested in. There is such a diverse range of careers in STEM that if you're really hyper-focused and fascinated by one particular aspect, ace it and you will probably be able to find a career in that field. Don't necessarily just go for whatever's the mainstream option, look at apprenticeships, look at what degrees are out there, uh, look at if you even need a degree to do what you want or if you can self-teach. Like there's, there's so many options, it's worth investigating them all.